Hey everyone, today I am going to be processing these pinto beans. This is four and a half pounds of dry pinto beans. This is a double recipe um, that I'm going to be canning. The recipe is from the Ball Blue Book Guide to Preserving and the recipe for dried beans or peas is on page 111 here. Um, these beans have been soaking now for one hour. And in the meantime, I got out my jars to get those ready to go. I have my pressure canner out and uh, got my station set up outside for my pressure canning outside. We have this glass cooktop and I don't know anything about this. We've not lived in this house that long. And it, this was here when we moved in. And so I'm not exactly 100% sure if my canner plus jars plus liquid plus whatever food is inside the jars will not bust this stovetop, so we are not gonna use that. We can all of our stuff outside. But these, I put in the pan, covered them with two inches of water, and let them come to a full rolling boil, and left them, turn them off, and then left them sitting here for one hour, This pressure canner, it's the All American, and you can double stack in here. That's the bottom rack, and you load the jars, and then there's another rack, and you can put more jars on top. But just because you double stack in this pressure canner, that doesn't affect the cook time or the amount of water. You still only want two inches of water in the bottom and it doesn't affect the processing time for the jars just because you double stack. And I'm definitely gonna double stack because we're, we doubled the recipe for the pinto beans. So apparently when I measured out our beans for four and a half pounds, I must have measured them wrong because I have a full canner load of pint jars and that is 16 pints. So we're gonna get these processing now. We have a steady stream of steam coming out. So we're gonna set our timer now for 10 minutes. Weighted gauge is on. And now we are almost up to 10 pounds of pressure. And once it hits 10 pounds of pressure, I will start my timer for one hour and 15 minutes. There is a bit of babysitting to do for watching the pressure canner, but I don't mind. I just sit out here in my swing and um, set my timer and watch the gauges and make sure that everything's going okay. But I have a nice place to sit and a nice view. And so I'll just sit here until um, this canning process is done. Another successful canning session, pressure canning. We got 16 pint jars of pinto beans. <laughs> 